it's Mindy, and welcome to another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. Today we're going to talk about how to create an alternate position view. An alternate position view shows the range of motion of an assembly. The feature allows you to move the assembly to a new position and then overlays the selected views on top of each other. You can dimension between the primary view and the alternate position view and multiple alternate position views can be added to a drawing view. So let's see how this works. You can see here we have a front view of our assembly. We want to overlay the two views that show the handle in the uppermost position and the handle in the lowermost position. The alternate position feature is located on the view layout tab of the command manager. Once you select it, it will ask you what view you want to create an alternate position of. That, of course, would be this view. Next, it is asking if you want to create a new configuration or use an existing configuration. Selecting a new configuration will allow us to open the assembly document and move the assembly to the position we want. The existing configuration will allow you to choose which configuration you want to use and we'll put that in. We want to create a new configuration that we will call uppermost. So let's enter that configuration name and then click the green check mark. Our assembly model is open and we're brought into the move component feature. We want to know the actual range of our assembly, so we're going to use collision detection to get, our, to get when our handle is in the uppermost position. We want to expand options and select collision detection. We want to stop on collision, so make sure that that checkbox is selected. Now we can drag the handle up. Once it is where we want it, we can click the green check mark. This will bring us back to our drawing and you can see it overlapped the new alternate position view over our primary view. Let's repeat that process for the lowermost position of the handle. Now we have the full range of motion of our product shown on our drawing. I hope you enjoyed this tech tip. Please tune in next time. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.